What's up guys? I'm going to run you through on how to operate a John Deere 7400. Um, this tractor is fairly simple to get the hang of, but um, you kind of have to have basic knowledge of how to operate a tractor. If you watched my last um, how to operate video, uh, the 4020, it's basically the same method except the gears are a little bit different. Um, now if you look down at the floor, um, we have, again, the clutch and the brakes. Now the brakes can be coupled together for road use. I don't know if how many of you know about that, but it's pretty handy if you're on the road. Um, the reason you want to do that is because, um, like, let's say you hit the wrong brake when you're on the road, it can kind of cause the tractor to go out of control, which is never a good thing. Um, all right, moving on. Um, here we have the ignition. As you can see, it's that'll stop the engine. Uh, that's run, and I'm not exactly sure what that is, but basically serves the same purpose as run. Um, when you push the key in, it turns on the glow plugs. The glow plugs just turn like get the engine warmed up so you can start it easier. Um, all right, moving up. This little what knob, this little button you see down here, knob, button, whatever you want to call it. That is called differential. Now when I push that, a little light up here will come on. As you can see, that means differential. Um, pretty simple, right? What that does is it locks the back wheels together and um, gives you more traction. Now moving up to the steering wheel, we have the steering wheel itself. Um, we don't have a knob on it. Um, over here we have the turn signals, left and right. Then we have the high beams, low beams, whatnot. Um, now if you push this in, that makes the horn go off. And on this tractor, it doesn't really have a really strong horn, so you can't hear it in the cab. But if the tractor isn't running, you can definitely hear it outside the cab. Um, now here we got the lights. Um, this is just blinkers and the front head beams up there. Um, I think those are just like these two lower lights on the bottom and then the back lights. Now, what else we got? Um, third position turns on the top lights up there from the outside. Pretty simple, right? Okay, now that's basically everything up on the console except for the windshield wipers. Um, now if I just turn that knob, the front windshield wiper will go back and forth. The back window is right here next to the back window. Um, we have the spray. It's that third notch right there. And this one up here also has the spray if you push in on it, and then it'll start spraying um, your windshield washer fluid. And that's basically everything on the console you need to know, except for these up here. Um, you can see like revolutions per minute and PTO and your like forward speed. Um, right now I have it on engine speed. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, yeah, that's what these three buttons over here for. Um, up on the dash we have engine speed, ground speed, engine speed again, multiplied by 100, fuel, and then engine oil. Um, temperature. Um, okay, so that's basically everything up on the console. Now, like the 4020, this tractor also has a foot pedal down there. Right there. And the same kind of concept. Instead of having a knob up here on the 4020s, this tractor has an accelerator handle right here. And that speeds up the engine. Alright? So, Moving on to how to drive the tractor itself. Um, over here we have these two knobs, this one and this one. This is our selector handle. Um, basically you have four gears, um, or four ranges I should say. You have A, B, C, and D. Um, and over here we have our actual selector knob. Um, you have like park, neutral, one, two, three, four, and then reverse one, two, three, four. Okay? Um, basically, basic same, basically the same concept as the 4020. Um, oh yeah, I also have the differential lock on. To turn the differential lock on after you push the knob, 
You just have, all you have to do is just push in the brake, and then it shuts off. Um, but anyway, once, once you want to get going into gear, all you have to do is push in the clutch again. You have to pick a range, either A, B, C, or D. Now I'm going to pick C. Um, that's usually my range. Uh, it's kind of the lower, uh, lower high, and B is the higher high low, I should say. And the A is low, and D is road gear. Um, so yeah, I have it in C. Now I'm going to shift it to neutral. I still got my foot on the clutch, which, by the way, try to keep your foot off the clutch for as like try to keep it off the clutch as much as possible. It can wear down the clutch, and that's never a good thing. They can be very expensive. So. Um, Anyway, I'm going to put it in a C1, that's what we call it, it's just C1, D1, B1, and I have it in C, so we're going to call it C1. And then all I have to do is slowly let go of the clutch, and the tractor will take off. Alright, pretty simple. Um, I like to use the foot, the foot uh, accelerator a lot, but... If your foot ever gets tired, then you can just set the accelerator up forward and it keeps it in place. So that's the nice thing about the accelerator handle. Um, that's the basics into how to drive one of these tractors. Um, now we're going to get a little more complicated. This has a mechanical seat, so um, here we have our weight bar. Turn that and you can... Oh! Well, that was fun. Um, you can turn the... Uh, knob down there and it, it'll set up how much it bounces and then yes I'm gonna keep going um, what else we have over here we have this I hope you can see that uh, if you pull out on that you can slide the seat back and forth um, I like to have it back because I'm a tall person and um, it, it kind of gets crowded if you don't have it back but um, that's basically everything on the seat, console, and the uh, dash as far as shifting. Um, now this next knob you see right here, that is the handle that we use for using our loader. This tractor has a loader that we can mount on the front of it. And um, again, this is pretty simple. Um, it's just, you have to remember it all, that's the difficult part. Um, Pulling back on it raises the loader up, kind of like on the skid steer. Um, this kind of works like the foot pedals, and pushing it forward tilt, or takes it down. And then pushing it into the left will make the loader um, scoop up, or the, you know the actual bucket on it. It'll make it scoop upward. And then pushing out to the right will make it dump the bucket. All right. So that's not too uh, difficult, is it? Um, moving back, we have something back here. What this is, is the four-wheel drive selection. Um, if you ever need more traction, what you can just do is push that knob up into the middle position, and then a light will come up on the dash telling you that you're in four-wheel drive. Um, very handy for more traction if you ever get stuck. Um, another thing this tractor has is uh, auto auto four-wheel drive it's called um, this will try to I know all I know about it is that it tries to sense on whether or not you need any more extra traction um, let's say you're doing a lot of wet work or where a place where there's like a lot of wet ground um, then you're going onto the road It'll automatically sense that you go over, I think it's like eight miles an hour, and it'll switch off because you never want to have it in four wheel drive on the road. It can cause hell on your tires. Uh, excuse me for my language. Um, anyway, um, these black knobs back here are the hydraulic knobs for the SCVs on the back of the tractor. This tractor has three, unlike the 4020 that I did. Um, you can hook it up to certain atta attachments um, on the tractor or on the back of the tractor or wherever. And just moving those knobs will cause different things to happen depending on what what they have it set up for. Let's say um, you have a rake and it'll swing outward to catch more hay and bring it into the center. 
by moving this knob back and forth, that controls how far out the wings are on it, and it can be kind of handy. Um, I don't, can't imagine life without it. <laughs> so, um, anyway, the second black kind of turtle, not really turtle, but whatever you want to call this thing, I don't really have a name for it, but um, what this does is it raises and lowers the three-point hitch on the back of the tractor. There's that little knob back here. Now you can pull this up and pull it back. It raises up and lowers it. I have it in the front position. However, when it's in the front position, there's a little button on the side back here. All right, let's try that. See this button right here? That'll make the PTO swing up, and the button down here will make it swing down. But that only really happens when it's in the front position, I think. I guess it works anytime, but that's the best place to have it. Now, it's not white. Excuse me, I'm a little lost for words. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. Um, this little knob right here, what this knob does is it brings this tiny little like bump on it. It'll swing that up. So let's bring it up to, let's say, a level 6. It just has a bunch of numbers on it for recognizing where you want want it at. Now if I pull this handle back, I can control on how far down I want it to go. So, it's pretty handy there, but we don't use it a lot. Um, another hidden feature, let's call it, is uh, on the back of this little black box, it has a little swing up. There's two little knobs back here. This controls the rate that the uh, raise and lower the one on the right does and then the one on the left controls like how high you want it to go so that's a handy feature um, and I'm sure you've used me seen me use the PTO all you have to do is pull out and that twist it and it'll come on and the light will come on on the dash right there um, to lock it on, all you have to do is twist it far enough and it'll click. And then, whenever you want to stop, stop it, just push it in and it'll stop. Uh, we have our little cigarette holder back here and that, you know that. Don't have to tell you what that is. <laughs> so, um, anyway, back right there, that's um, the power, like for this, for the baler. Um, I'm not really going to really go into that for this video. Um, I'll save that for another one. Then, the one... Well, I guess I got a couple things left. Um, here I have the controls for air conditioning and heat. Um, the air conditioning button is on because it's freaking hot out. Then, let's go up onto the roof. Let's see it ceiling of the cab. Now what we have there is the light and a, another little light that automatically turns on when you turn the lights on. Um, it's an orange light. Uh, there you go. Alright. I can't necessarily see it, but it's there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sorry, the screen is black, so I can't really see where I'm pointing this thing. Alright, so you see that. Now, what we have here is the light switch. What that does is basically just turns it on and off. And there's another lock for it, so that the light will come on when you open up the cab. And that's fairly handy, so. Um, enough of that. And this little black knob you see right here, that is the rot rotary beacon turn it off for you. Um, that's just for road use. We have our radio, of course, couldn't live without one. It's not the stock one that came with the tractor because the one that was in it was junk and we needed a replacement so we replaced it. And then all we have here is four speakers for it. Um, that's basically it. The only thing, well I'm really only forgetting two things. Um, that's this little knob back here, which I'm not totally familiar with. Um, I know it has something to do with 
Um, something with a three point, I'm pretty sure. But don't quote me on that one. And then back here we have these knobs on the seat. What this does is brings the seat down for a passenger so somebody can ride with you. Um, I'm pretty sure that's just about everything. Um, if I'm forgetting something, be sure to write about it. I'm sure plenty of you have these tractors. Um, 7400 is a pretty nice tractor. Um, I have never driven a 10 series, so I don't know the differences between them. Um, trying to think of anything else I might be forgetting, but I'm pretty sure I got everything. So um, thanks for uh, sitting through me with this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you figured out um, or learned a little bit more about them. Um, be sure to subscribe for more to how to drive videos. Um, I'm going to try to do more of that. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in another video.